Cat125 on Darth Chihuahua, and I look horrible right now. But anyways, I'm going to be te not really teaching you, just um, going through kind of some, er, some of the basics on how to be like well prepared for a nerf war and all of nerf stuff. So first of all, uh, first thing I'm going to just start off with nerf wars. You want to probably have a, around two to three guns. I call them the beginner gun. I look so bad. The beginner gun, uh, then the, uh, your backup gun, which you don't absolutely need that one, and definitely an emergency gun. Now, a lot, if you watch my videos a lot, uh, you know my favorite gun is to deploy. That's my beginner gun because I have a nice scope. Uh, as good light. So you want kind of a big gun like this, or maybe the long strike, a fury fire, or a recon, or something like that. Then for your backup gun, it doesn't matter if it's electric because that's probably like if you're under attack and you're out of ammo, you want to be using a backup gun. You probably want it to be a medium-sized gun. Um, like a Maverick, uh, what else, a, just kind of medium size, like, not tiny pistols like the Scout or the, um, what you call them, the Strike Fire, but you don't absolutely need a, uh, a backup gun, but just a good thing to have. Then, uh, one of the most important, a, um, emergency gun with Emergency guns, you want the smallest gun you can find, like a scout, uh, a night finder, a strike fire, just a small gun uh, that you can just, like, if you have a tactical vest, you can just fit it in there or something like that. So, uh, but then you also, uh, if you have a clip fight gun, you also want to have extra clips and ammo wherever you can because you run out of ammo so fast you won't even realize it. Another thing, you don't want to add useless attachments. Like, sometimes you'll want to have, like, a barrel extension or a stock. But if you're just going out to battle, why would you really want the stock? It's kind of useless. Normally, when I have a barricade, I'm shooting like this. Not like, I don't expect to be shooting like that. So try not to have too much extra junk on your guns. That sounded weird. Also, be organized. You're probably tired of your teacher and parents saying, keep your room organized and all that. But it really helps with Nerf guns. Like, here I have all of my small Nerf guns. None of them loaded. There's all my small. I also have some up there. Then here are my longer Nerf guns. Uh, like the long strike. And the double barrel shotgun, I think it's called. Uh, if you can read this, it says mags, but it's, there's not mags anymore. These are streamlined darts, not that many, because I also have them in my, uh, what you call them, my uh, ammo ma magazines. Here, this is filled with um, camouflage darts. Uh, and then other <laughs> darts. Uh, I, I don't really see a difference in um, any of the dart tag darts or whistle darts. Here I just have uh, barrel extensions and stocks. I just got them mixed up. And then Busby darts in there. Can't, you probably can't see anything. And then my six magazines. Uh, my other two are up there. Uh, but it's really good to be organized because then you like like sometimes you'll be running away from the enemy or whatever in the nerf and you just need uh, in the nerf gun you just need to grab a gun quick and go if you're organized it will be really easy so those are the things you want a uh you are a beginner gun or a starter gun you might want a backup gun and you probably you need a a emergency gun so that's about it you also want to have sprint if you have like a bandolier or a tactical vest i don't right now but i'm ordering a bandolier thing but you also probably want to have those or 
just you might want to have clips in your pocket like on the long strike believe me you want it, it has these two places for extra clips you definitely want to try to have clips in there like because you won't when you're shooting and you're like trapped in a corner or something you are going to run out of ammo so fast you won't realize it. And then you'll be thinking, oh, crap, now I'm out of ammo. Well, if it's right there, you can just put it in quick. It, it really will help. And it, you'll, it'll, it'll help a lot. Um, but that's about it. You kind of just need to be organized. And you need all the weapons you, kind of, you can. Remember, you don't want to have too many extra attachments. Sure, scopes and lights are good, but if you don't need them, you just shouldn't take them. Like this, this is per the deploy is my favorite gun, and it works fine. You don't need a recon barrel extension or anything. So that's it. Thanks for watching.